You want to go up to the gym, my girl? You want to go up to the gym? Come in, let's go. What is going on you guys? First of all, it is a beautiful freaking day today. Actually, let me just let me just show you this. This is the view that we're working with at the gym. And the birds are chirping. It's nice. It's a good one. Anyway, today I wanted to give you guys an updated kind of home gym tour. I did post a video, I think it was at the end of last summer, and it was just kind of a little recap of how we created the home gym and a little bit about what we have in it. We have added a few new things, and I also wanted to go a little bit more in depth on like why we've chosen the equipment we've chosen and stuff like that, because I do get some questions um, about that kind of stuff. So if you're wondering my insight on these things, I am so out of breath. Why am I so out of breath? <laughs> I don't know, but let's get into it. All right, I just want to do a quick little walkthrough just so you guys have an idea of the layout. And then and I'll go through each individual piece of equipment. I'm just gonna start over here and then we'll work our way around the gym. But this also happens to be, in my opinion, the most important piece of equipment that we have. So this is our Rogue freestanding squat rack. It was the first thing that we ever got. And I do get asked what do I think the bare essentials of a home gym is. And I think it's super dependent on how you train and what your goals are. If I were to go back in time and do this all over again, I would still start with a freestanding squat rack, barbell, and some plates. I think that, I mean, honestly, I, I could deal for the rest of my life with just that. I like the freestanding squat rack for a home gym specifically for a few reasons. One of them being you don't have a crazy amount of space or most of the time you don't have like unlimited space in a home gym. And so the ability to move the squat rack with a decent amount of ease I think is pretty convenient, especially because where you squat is also typically your platform. It's where you would deadlift. Um, and since I started doing Olympic weightlifting, cleans and snatch, it's really nice to be able to just move it completely out of the way if I feel like it. Um, and then I did not take the bar off or unload it, so embarrassing, but this is um, a Rogue women's weightlifting bar. We do also have a men's bar, just like a regular bar, um, but that's what this is. But anyway, that is my number one piece of equipment. It's what I love the most, and let's carry on. Alrighty, so moving on, we have this cable machine. This is Inspire. That is the brand. Put to my camera. We got this cable machine, I want to say about three years ago. It's treated us pretty well. No complaints. Inspire. Nicely done. Um, we did kind of reconfigure the gym. I think in my last video, this was in a different spot. And what we did was we wanted it to be in the corner. And so we did have to take off the, there is like a, a pull-up bar right here. So we just kind of like reinforced it using some wood and then um, we just wanted to be able to tuck it into this corner. So we also have a pull-up rig already. Not that big of a deal to be missing out on that, but if you are looking for this cable machine, it does come with a pull-up bar. My personal opinion on cable machines is that they're great because they're so versatile. You can get a whole bunch done with them. And I am just a huge fan of free weight. So if I were gonna rank equipment, I don't, I think, I, I don't know that this would be like way, way up there. John really likes cable machines and I do use them. I do enjoy them. But um, if you're talking like what I think the most important thing is in our home gym, I don't know. Well, actually, no, Maybe that's, that's just me personally. I don't think it would be way up there. But I think if you enjoy cable machines, you, this, you get a good bang for your buck with something like this. Also, I will try to link all of the equipment in this video. So. I have to remember to do that. Anyway, carrying on. All right, this next thing is pretty fancy. John got super into arm wrestling, and so he built an arm wrestling table. 
pretty darn neat. I'm not gonna lie, I don't use this crazy amount because I never win. And so it just kind of makes me, you know, a little less interesting. <laughs> Next thing we have here is a super convenient piece of equipment and it is our weight tree. We do have another spot for our 45s, um, but it's convenient. Oh, I like it. And over here, we have our dumbbells. Um, this is something that I would definitely prioritize personally, just because I love free weights. We have dumbbells going up to 70 pounds. I would love, I would love to be able to have dumbbells up to like 100, but I mean, realistically, I don't really deserve dumbbells up to 100. I need to, <laughs> I need to get a little bit stronger so that I can really justify that, but love these dumbbells. What more is there to say, really? This is another thing that I think I would definitely prioritize an incline bench because very versatile shoulder press, incline chest press. You can use that with your squat rack, you know, as, as a barbell bench press. Um, I think that I would prioritize an incline bench over just a regular bench just because you can get a little bit more bang for your buck out of that. However, the first bench that we bought was actually this competition road bench, which now that I'm saying it, I loved this bench a lot. Um, when we bought it, I was doing uh, powerlifting, so having a competition pre uh, bench was like really, really nice, and I, I really, really appreciated that. So, hmm. yeah, no, I think I still would prioritize this. Truthfully, all of this just comes down to what you enjoy. Like, how do you enjoy training? Because there's no right or wrong when it comes to what am I? What in the freaking? What the? Why does he keep doing this? What a horrifying, I wasn't looking at it at all either, so I had no idea. Anyway, it all comes down to what you enjoy, what you like, and um, there's no right or wrong when it comes to building a home gym. So I think starting small with equipment and you know building off of that is a good idea just because then you can really see what you are missing because maybe you are somebody that would be just very happy with a barbell and a squat rack. Who's to say? Um, anyway, let's carry on. Next up we have this X mark pull-up rig. And I freaking love this pull-up rig. Let, let me just, let me just go over yonder and I'll, I'll just show you guys how it works because I know you're probably really confused. It's not straightforward, not even a little bit. I'm just kidding. Um, I love this pull-up rig because how many different options there are. For example, boom. Okay. And now watch this. You can do this. Boom. And then, you're feeling super crazy? Watch this. Boom. But wait, there's more. Extra wide. That is not super easy. Anyway, I love this thing. We've I think we got this. We got this pretty early on as well. Um, the first thing, so I feel like I'm a little all over the place here. Probably should have made a plan for this video. But the first things that we bought were squat rack, barbell, and plates. This pull-up rig and I think the bench. We also had an adjustable dumbbell set at that point in time. Um, but I think that that was the perfect, oh, I'm really out of breath again. <laughs> I think that that was the perfect start for our home gym. That's what we had for about a year and a half to two years, I think. Um, and I think that that honestly, I am so, so, so lucky and grateful that we've been able to build the home gym out to what it is now, but I think I would be fine if that still was where we were at. So I think bare bones for me, that was perfect. Anyway, let's move on. All right, so next up we have this. This is our newest addition, and I think I did, ouch, I think I did talk about this um, in one of my, one of my more recent videos uh, because I was using it, but... We got this off of Amazon. I don't, the brand is not on here. I don't see the brand, but I will try to find it. So there's a wasp in front of the camera. I will try to find it so that I can link it in the description of this video, but I have been pretty happy with it thus far. It is a um, leg extension and a leg curl. I personally am not a fan of leg curls just in general because I love RDLs and good mornings and any other hamstring exercise that isn't a leg curl. Um, but I do love leg extensions because there is nothing like a juicy quad pop. So, and I stand by that. So I figure that while I'm here, I might as well. Oh, that's nice. 
Up next is this Concept2 skier. We went through a period of time where we were using this quite a bit, but I will say it doesn't get used very much anymore, which is honestly why the leg extension is so close to it. Um, but it's a really great piece of equipment. Uh, we just haven't really been prioritizing this type of fitness in a bit. This, actually there's a few dead bugs in there, which is a little embarrassing, but this is our chalk stand, and this is from Rogue as well. Freaking love it. I think it's so classy and lovely. Um, and then you also see we have our straps and whatnot hanging from there. Extra, well not extra, but 45s. And then, last but not least, we have this, and you can see, so I did previously train Strongman, and so we have some Strongman equipment. We have an axle bar, we've got farmer's carries, we've got a log, and then we've got our other bar. And then here is a sled. And my sweet Chloe. Hi, my girl. Who do I love? It's you. I love you. We do also have a yoke, which I love, but it is disassembled right now, um, just because I have not been training Strongman, and so... I haven't really needed to use it, but I do love the yoke. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope this video wasn't crazy all over the place, and hopefully you found it helpful, maybe. Um, but that is about it. That's my home gym. Thanks for watching. If you feel like liking and subscribing, I would be ever so grateful. And I will talk to you later.